Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope you all can hear me while I'm walking on crunchy, crunchy snow. Uh, it is, let's see, December 30th. It's almost the new year and uh, we're in the middle of a cold snap, a really, really cold snap. This has a, been a long one too. It's been since the day after Christmas, so it's four days now. And uh, it's supposed to last for another, um, I think, uh, another whole week at least. So um, I am going to do a wellness check on my bees and trudging through the snow. I don't come back here very much. I mostly just want to make sure that they have their bottom entrance open. That's good. Oh no, that's bad. So, all right. So, the last time I checked on the bees was probably just a couple days ago, and everything looked okay. We had our entrance cleared down here. Um, oh, hey, Nate. What is it, a wasp nest? Oh, shit. Nate just pointed out a wasp nest to, uh, to me. Is that, that's right, right there, yeah? It looks like a bird's nest, but I think it's a shredded. Huh. Yeah, it probably would have fallen down in one of the storms. So, last time I came out here, I was pretty sure that this hive over here it was already dead. When we buttoned this hive up with its tar paper and insulation, um, last time I had opened it, I found a huge um, hornet and a bunch of wasps in there. So, I was kind of already considering that a dead hive. Not to mention that the upper entrance of the hive has looked like this with frost right in it uh, since winter started so that was kind of an indication that nothing is alive in there um, I, I cleaned this off the other day but that again I'm 100% sure that that's dead so say hi to Nate everyone Nate say hi uh, so this brings us to my what was my strong hive here and um, I'm also noticing for the first time some of that frost that is in our upper entrance. And that is bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I don't really know what that indicates. I don't, I assume oh. it's, you think it's hoarfrost? I'm going to spell hoarfrost for you so this doesn't get demonetized, but it's H-O-A-R. Thank you, Nathan, for almost demonetizing the video. Uh, my point here with all of this is that uh, it's not like I can open this hive up and check on them. I'm going to have to use my brain on this one. And from what I've seen this winter, there haven't been any bees coming out to poop. That's kind of uh, my number one indication that no one's alive in there. Although I will say that uh, no one would be coming out to poop this, this week because they only come out if it's uh, not freezing. Um, I should explain, the bees have to do cleansing flights because they don't poop inside the hive. So oftentimes in the winter, it will get up to, you know, a little bit above 32 or even down to 28. And these guys will come out and take one long, swooping, lazy flight around and then immediately come back home. And what they drop is an orange poop. And normally, even though we've had a lot of snow lately, you can see them on the ground. They're everywhere. In fact, in the springtime, they poop on my laundry line, which is a pain in the ass. There's one test that we can give to see if any activity in the hive will uh, show up, and it's kind of a stupid one. <laughs> it's a stupid one, so we'll do that right now. And normally I put my head real close to it, but I don't hear anything. The other thing that happens normally when I do that is that little guard bees come right to the front entrance and stick their heads out, usually two or three of them, and it's adorable. Um, so right now I'm not looking for, um, or I'm not looking, uh, right now I am assuming that both of these hives are dead, which is sad. Uh, but I kind of knew it was going to happen. I'll go into that in a minute. 
the, the reason that I thought these bees might not make it is because I, the last time I saw bees outside the hive, which was I think, I wanna say like three weeks ago, um, I haven't seen any bees outside the, dead bees outside the hive. And one of those, one and a half technically, one was a larva, Two of them had deformed wing syndrome, for sure, and uh, that is a disease that they get that is carried by varroa mites. Uh, so I came inside to finish the rest of the video because it was like, you know, negative 50 outside. So anyway, my point was is that deformed wing syndrome is carried by the varroa mite. It's a virus. and. Um, I had, when we first installed this package of bees, I had actually seen a deformed wing syndrome uh, bee in one of the packages that I bought. I kind of brushed it off thinking, well, they wouldn't sell us deformed wing syndrome packages, but they totally did. So despite the fact that we use the oxalic acid in the fall and formic acid in the spring to treat for the varroa mites, it didn't seem to help. And um, this, I think, was a weak hive from the start. It was doomed from the start. The second reason that I think these bees don't have a very good chance to survive is because I waited a little long to get my packages and the only packages that were left were bees that were from Georgia. So these are not Northern Queens and they are not bred for very, very cold weather. That being said, I have had bees last through negative 20 temperatures before and over winter just fine with plenty of honey and adequate ventilation. The one thing that I know for a fact that is um, telling me that this the, the stronger hive is definitely dead is the fact that there was that hoarfrost there in the upper uh, in the upper uh, entrance and that is really what kills the bees is the moisture it's either disease moisture or lack of food it's not really the extreme cold but if it gets to be too much moisture inside the hive then the bees themselves freeze uh, we try to do everything to prevent that by providing adequate ventilation through the bottom um, and into the quilt box which is in the top i have that filled with shavings so that the Honey, once it's eaten, gives off evaporation and that water can travel up and be evaporated with natural wind currents that travel um, above in the top of the beehive. So uh, despite us doing everything that we could to make the bees comfortable and safe and happy through the winter, I'm probably going to call it here and say that I don't have bees right now. Mm. Like I said earlier, there's no way we can open up the hive at the moment and check because it's just too cold. And we wouldn't be able to really open the hive anyway until about February or March when we would get a day that was in the 40s or 50s. So um, I will definitely do a follow-up video. And when we necropsy this hive, I'll make sure that I video it and put it on my YouTube channel for you guys. So um, I will definitely post more bee videos. This is not the end of my bee career. It never will be. And um, stay tuned for more great stuff from us.